Fitness has absolutely changed my life. Not only has it given me physical fortitude, but mental as well. It set a tone for me. It was the foundation to my path of self-development. And once I realized I could transform my appearance, I realized I could also transform my life, my mindset. So this year, I really dialed in my health and nutrition. And uh, Not only do I feel better than ever, but I feel like I look better than ever. Uh, I don't mean to sound like cocky or anything, you know, but I just, I've been putting in the work. With that said, today I want to go ahead and discuss six tactics that have helped transform my body. And if you're naturally a skinny little dude like me, I really think this video will provide you with some great value. And look, I'm not here to give you some basic cliche tricks and tips. I just genuinely want to provide you guys with some good knowledge and information that I think is uh, well worth your gas money. Now, the first thing that really helped improve my physique and also really helped uh, improve my overall mental health as well was just to stop bulking. The whole bulking, cutting, cutting and bulking thing was something I did for well over a decade. And honestly, I was just running around chasing my tail. And so I would do this thing where I would spend six months bulking and then six months cutting, six months bulking, six months cutting. And during the whole bulking stage, I mean, a lot of you guys know how it is. You get real fluffy looking, you put on a lot of excess fat and you just don't look good. And then after that, you start cutting, right? And because you want the cutting process to go faster, you end up doing, if you're like me, an intense drastic cut because you want to get results as quick as possible. And then therefore, I mean, yeah, you end up cutting and losing weight, but you lose most of your gains that you got from bulking along with that. So what's worked best for me personally is if I do any bulking whatsoever, it's going to be just a lean, very lean, light bulk, basically meaning, so like instead of eating 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 calories over my daily budget, I'm going to stay fairly around my maintenance calories, maybe 100 calories over tops. So let me go ahead and explain as we go into number two, diet. Now, if I, my body, if it naturally burns 2,400 calories a day, I'm going to end the day around 2,400 calories a day. However, a lot of you might ask, is that even enough nutrition to actually put on and build muscle? which that's a really good question. So a way that I ensure that I am getting more than enough nutrition to build and put on that muscle is actually by eating around 2,700 calories a day. So actually like 300 over what I naturally burn a day. So yeah, if I'm eating 300 calories over, um, that's more than enough nutrition, but obviously over time, it's gonna start putting on that excess fat, which I don't want. So I'm gonna bring that number back down by doing daily cardio. And I'll typically do like two to 300 calories a day just to bring me back down. Yeah, it's a little extra work, but it ensures that you're getting in more than enough nutrition while staying fairly lean and not putting on that excess fat. Cause I don't know, for me bro, it's just like, yeah, you can go the heavy bulking route and that works for a lot of you out there. But for me, I just don't like the bulking phase. I don't like what I look like. My face gets very round and pudgy. I lose all definition in my arms and my abs especially. And for me and just my profession, I'm doing these videos, I'm talking to you guys a lot. And I just wanna make sure that when I'm presenting myself that I'm, I'm constantly looking somewhat sharp. I feel like athletes, NBA players, I mean, those guys, you see them come into the league and they're real small, skinny, and frail. And then they, they're able to put on like 20, 30 pounds of muscle within a couple years without ever having to go through the bulking phase. And I think it's because they're eating more than enough nutrition, but they're out there running their butts off so much and doing so much cardio that it brings them back down into that cutting phase. Now, on the other hand, if I'm cutting and I'm trying to get leaner, which is like what I've been doing here for the last couple months, I'll apply basically the same concept, except I'll turn up the cardio just a little bit. So that way it really puts me in that calorie deficit because as most of us know, it's scientifically that is, you know, it's proven that that is the only way that someone can actually lose weight. So again, if I naturally burn 2,400 calories a day, I'll eat around 2,400 calories. And what I'll do if I'm cutting, I'll go ahead and burn around 400 calories a day, sometimes more, but let's just say 400, which brings me down to now 2,000 calories. It brings me down to that deficit, that you know cutting zone. And I'll continue to do that until I hit my goal. So by doing that, eating 2,400 calories a day, that ensures that I'm 
holding on to whatever muscle I do have, but I'm also doing that cardio to bring me back down and lose that body fat. So hey, that's my uh, little bro science. Not even, bro, that's not even bro science, that's straight up like Dre Drexler science. <laughs> um, uh, Greg Duchette is probably gonna shred me to pieces. <laughs> now look, me personally, guys, this is what works for me. It's obviously what's been working for me. I mean, you can tell over the last few years, my body is progressing. Hey, chew on the meat, spit out the bones with this video. I think everybody should do their own research and see what works best for them. Anyways, uh, hey, look, my process, the way I go about things, I've seen progression. Yeah, it's a slower process. Yeah, you gotta put in a little bit more work. But from what I've seen, hey, this ain't a marathon. I mean, it is a marathon, it's not a sprint. Now, as far as like how many grams of protein I take each day, um, I usually follow Kino Body, uh, Gregory O'Gallagher's method on this, which is, I think he says, um, 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight. So, um, like I weigh like 145, 150, usually around there. So I'll eat typically 130 grams of protein a day. Sometimes it'll be like 150, some days it'll be like 110, 120. But it's all roughly around my body weight on the scale. And a new method I've been doing that I took from Hamza is because uh, I like intermittent fasting. However, if you are trying to put on that lean muscle mass, intermittent fasting, I personally don't think is the best route to go just because I mean you want to be fueling your body with nutrition and protein especially all throughout the day right so what Hamza uh, suggested in a video and I just started applying it is yeah intermittent fast but during that time in the morning when you're fasting at least have a scoop of protein around every two to three hours upon waking up so yeah technically I mean yeah you are breaking a fast it's not a true intermittent fasting diet however instead of having big heavy meals throughout the day you just have these scoops of protein in the morning to ensure you're getting in nutrition before actually really really breaking the fast this is just something I do I really like intermittent fasting just because at night you know I can go to bed and I can feel a lot more satisfied because I'm having a bigger meal at night and for the most part you guys I mean my diet is fairly clean it's not perfect but I am making sure that I'm getting protein and I'm eating lots of fruit that's like vital for me I don't me personally I just I love the way I feel when I'm eating grapes, bananas, apples. I've actually been staying away from veggies lately. I mean, I'll have a little bit, but not a lot, just because uh, I've been learning more about uh, foods that are high in oxalates. And a lot of your favorite vegetables are very high in oxalates. So I don't know, for me, I don't want that. I'm just kind of sticking more towards the fruit. I did, however, just get back on creatine, especially while I was cutting, because I'm just trying to kind of keep that size. But of course, if you're eating red meat and stuff like that, I believe there's natural creatine in that. So you might not find the need to supplement it. Like I said, I am on protein, but for the most part, I mean, I'm eating eggs, I'm eating meat, chicken, turkey. And I do get like uh, 21 meals delivered to me from Flex Pro Meals every month. I know a lot of you guys have tried their meals. Uh, there's a few that I actually really like from them and I just kind of stick to those. I keep getting those ones. I like them. A lot of their meals are really high in protein and not too much sodium like the ones you get in the stores. I'll go ahead and put my favorite meals that I get from them down in the description along with a, a little link to get you guys meals for like 680 a piece. Now, as far as cardio, I'll just keep it really brief. Uh, this this last year, a lot of you saw me on Instagram, I got really into running. Running became like my lifestyle. I started doing like four miles a day, five, six, seven, and then at one point I was doing up to 10 miles. And I got into it because yeah, it's just such a fun way to do cardio. And time just kind of seems to fly when you're out there. I am gonna get back into it. It's just like 115 degrees every day outside right now and it's just not fun at all running in that heat. But once I get back into it, I'll probably just stick to maybe two miles a day tops. But what I have been doing this summer is riding my air bike in my nice air conditioned home. And a cool little trick that's kind of helped me out mentally, you gotta kind of psych out your mind a little bit is take like five hours out of your day say like from noon to five o'clock and at the beginning of each one of those hours stop everything you're doing and go burn 50 calories whether it's on the bike whether it's on the treadmill doing a little hit workout whatever and even though 50 calories doesn't seem like that much those little 50s keep adding up throughout the day. Or if you did it starting at like 6 a.m. in the morning you do 6 a.m. 7 8 9 10 by 10 o'clock, you just did 250 calories and you didn't even have to break a sweat. And now as far as the fourth tactic, that is just constant progression. Some people call it progressive overload. Hey, whatever you wanna call it, but whatever you're doing, whether it's cardio, whether it's lifting weights, you gotta make sure that you are just 
progressing every single week, right? Whether you're doing more reps or heavier weight, this is going to ensure that you are getting stronger. If you keep doing the same weights, your muscles are gonna look at you and be like, I already know how to do this, so I don't need to grow. But if you start adding on the weight or adding more reps, now you're telling your muscles, hey, you need to grow your muscles. Therefore, now they have to acclimate. They have to get stronger. By the way, a few months ago, I got myself the Max Pro portable system. I know a lot of you ask what I use at home or what I train with at home. I don't really have a home gym, but I do got this bad boy right here. The resistance on it is only concentric, but hey, it's cool for on the go travel or even nights like this when I've been filming all day and I you know, didn't make it to the gym. I know a lot of you guys already go to the gym or have workout equipment at home, but if you wanna check it out, I will link it down below for you. All right, number five now, now, a lot of you guys already know this about me and uh, I've talked about it here and there throughout videos in the past uh, and that is TRT testosterone replacement therapy like I've said in previous videos yes I've been on testosterone for maybe almost five years now like four and a half something like that I get prescribed just a little bit from a doctor I went to him a handful of years they checked my blood and they saw that I was really low in testosterone and he said he wasn't surprised because a lot of men young men these days are very low in testosterone and so for some of you watching hey you might do all these things do all these steps you might be putting in all the work and eating just right kind of like I was uh, for years, but hey, you 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 see that you're just you're not getting the results now Don't get me wrong just by getting on this stuff Isn't gonna just change your life and automatically give you all these muscles and having you look like Arnold Schwarzenegger or something like that The doctor's not gonna prescribe you the amounts that those guys are taking the doctor's gonna do what he did for me, which is prescribe you just enough to kind of put you at the level of a normal young man your age. So hey, look, if you feel that you've been just putting in the work year after year, your diet's on point, but you're just not getting the results, I would highly encourage you to go to a doctor, get your blood ran, because that more than likely may be the problem. Look, I want to be as healthy as possible. If I could, I would not be on testosterone, but the fact that I kind of have like a deficiency in it, I have to supplement it. And again, I'm not taking those big masses of amounts that the professionals take. I'm taking just a small dose, bro. Just enough to give me that little boost that I need. And then I can take care of the rest through fitness and diet. Because if you don't implement those things, yeah, your testosterone levels are going to rise up, but you're just going to look the same. And number six may not seem so significant to a lot of you out there, especially those of you who are a little more uh, introverted, kind of like I am, but hey, brotherhood, fellowship, having some kind of support system. You need to have brothers in your life that you hit up the gym with, even if it's like one or two dudes even. You don't need a big old giant inner circle, even just something real small to where you guys are pushing each other, you guys are challenging each other. Growing up, like I've said in previous videos, I had a dude named Roger who came into my life. I was 16, he was 24, and he came to my house and picked me up every single day, whether I felt like it or not, and he took me to the gym. I felt so awkward, I was 110 pounds, the same height I am now. I was an absolute rail. People actually thought I was anorexic, and I was just so embarrassed walking into the gym every night, but he didn't show no emotion towards that. He didn't let me feel bad for myself. He didn't let me wallow in self pity he said no you're getting your butt to the gym tonight whether you like it or not screw all the haters screw what everybody else is saying about you it's time to be a man and it's time to grow it's time to build and if he would have never done that for me he would have never helped challenge and push me who knows where I'd be at today who knows if I would have even got into self-development and making these YouTube videos for you guys because working out that was the galvanizer the initiator that got me into the whole world of self-development so hey don't discount don't discard the value and the power in numbers and having like-minded individuals, brothers, that you can lean on for encouragement and motivation. You need those dudes to slap you upside your head during those times in life where you don't feel like working out, where you, you, know, you have seasons in your life where you feel a little more lazy, you feel a little more unmotivated. You need to have dudes that call you up and be like, hey, no, 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 no. Hey, I don't care how you feel right now. You've had a couple of days off. You need to get your butt back in the gym. Let's go. With all that said, hope you got some good value from this video. Of course, I'm gonna continue to build slowly but surely and just kind of be on a uh, lean bulk, mild bulk. I like how lean I am right now, so I'm gonna try and maintain that. And then next year for next summer, um, I wanna get even leaner, bro. I wanna have like veins all up and down my abs. I wanna have like my face extra chiseled. So, hey, but we'll get there. That's gonna take some time and that's gonna be a whole nother video on its own. So if you like today's video, please give it a nice big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, hit that notifications button to be informed when I drop new content. And by the way, if you stayed to watch this video this long so far, 
thank you and uh, check out this video right here this is a pretty good one right here that I think will change your whole life and your mindset as a man. Until next time, my name is Jay Drexler. Peace always.